In this video, we'll discuss the nature of chemical equations and why balancing them is so important. Consider this reaction between gaseous hydrogen and oxygen molecules to make water. It would be super cool if we could always see the reactions happening, but that isn't really practical. So, we need a way to represent this atomic level change. For that, we use chemical equations. We use the chemical formulas of the products and reactants to represent the chemical species involved, and we separate them by an arrow. Products are located on the right side of the arrow, and reactants are on the left. So this equation reads, hydrogen and oxygen react together to form water. You may notice that the chemical equation we just wrote is not balanced. The number of atoms of each element is not the same on both sides of the equation. That's a problem. It is important for scientists to ensure chemical equations are balanced in order to follow the law of conservation of mass. Atoms don't just get made or disappear. However many atoms we start with in a reaction, we need to have exactly the same number when we're done. In a chemical equation, there are two types of numbers to pay attention to. The first type of number to pay attention to are the subscripts, the small number within a chemical formula. This indicates the number of atoms of an element that are present in a molecule. A subscript is specific to a chemical formula and may not be changed. If a subscript is changed, the identity of the molecule changes as well. For example, if we change the subscript for oxygen to 2 in the chemical formula for water, we get H2O2. This is the chemical formula for hydrogen peroxide, which is a different species than water, so that's not good. The second set of numbers that are important are the coefficients. A coefficient is the number placed in front of a chemical formula. They indicate the number of molecules of a given substance that are used or produced. If there is no coefficient in front of a chemical formula, then it is implied that the coefficient is 1. That's what's being implied here right now. The rule is that we can never, ever change the subscripts to balance a reaction, so we need to change the coefficients. The correctly balanced equation for hydrogen and oxygen molecules to make water is shown here. Two molecules of hydrogen react with one molecule of oxygen to produce two molecules of water. That's right, there are six atoms on the reactant side. Two of these atoms are oxygen atoms, which come from our one oxygen molecule. The other four atoms are hydrogen atoms, which come from our two molecules of H2. Notice, there are exactly the same number of atoms on the product side as well. Two oxygen atoms and four hydrogen atoms. This chemical equation is balanced. Last thing to deal with, chemical equations also include the physical states of the species in the reaction. Solids are represented by an S, liquids are represented by an L, gases are represented by a G, and aqueous species are represented by AQ. As we mentioned earlier in this video, these small molecules will all be gases. So we write G in parentheses next to all three species. And now we're done.